And you're very welcome back. We are adding some spice to our Sunday with Edward Hayden, who is joining us live from the Marble City. So from one empty kitchen to a very busy one. Good morning, Edward. Good morning, Aidan. How are you going? Doing all right, although I'd rather you were here cooking this for us. What's on the menu? Uh I've got some lovely spicy beef fajitas now, so the challenge for you, Aidan, is straight after work, get the ingredients for this and go home and make it at home. That's the homework. I've got me pen, I've got me paper, I'm making the notes, so uh, I will follow you diligently, yes. Edward. We're in good hands. So, spicy beef, what kind of beef that's are you good. using? And that's the only way to go. Yeah, listen, I'm going to fly through it here. So what I've got is I've just got some beef here in my pan, and just for the purpose of television, I've just started it off. I'm using, you can use either some strip loin or some rib of beef. I actually use rib. I'm on a big kind of a, a rib movement at the minute. So I'm using a rib of beef there or strip loin. Uh, to that, I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic and a little bit of chilli. Now, Aidan, I've taken the seeds out of the chilli uh, just in case I lash this into the neighbours after the, after the show. And the biggest tip that I always give people when they're cooking beef of any stage is to kind of seal it off first and foremostly. So see, I've sealed it off before you add the salt or pepper. If you put salt or pepper, particularly salt, onto it at this stage, you'll end up extracting all of the moisture out of it. And that's kind of not what's required. You know, you want to kind of make sure that the dish is nice and moist when you're, uh, when you're finished with it. Okie doke. You can see then, Aidan, I've just got a selection of lovely veg here. So this is kind of like uh, cooking the rainbow or cooking from the bottom uh, shelf of your fridge. I'm using some lovely uh, sliced red onions. I'm going to put some of those in there. Uh, I've also got some mixed peppers. I've just got some mixed colorful peppers there. We'll pop those in. And finally, I've got a few chestnut mushrooms, okay? So a few chestnut mushrooms. Now, I love chestnut mushrooms, Aidan. I don't know if you've used them. I prefer them than the normal button ones. I just think they're full of flavour. They've got that real robust, earthy flavour, and they're definitely worth getting, and they're very readily available in all the supermarkets and, and veg shops. So I'm going to keep that going then, Aidan. That's literally just a kind of a very simple stir fry. Uh, I'm keeping that going. I'm cooking it in a rapeseed oil, and I'm keeping the heat fairly high throughout. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges that people have when they're making a dish of this type, like a stir fry dish, that maybe they're not using the highest heat and they end up stewing it. So I'm going to keep that on a high heat and I'll keep a little movement on it uh, right, throughout the, right throughout the morning. OK, so far so good and quite straightforward, as you say, and as always, a good All tip straight. because I found myself guilty of stewing everything in the pan if you don't have it too high because once you do add your vegetables and your other bits to the meat, it brings the heat right down, doesn't it? It certainly does, it certainly does. Now, Aidan, one of my favourite things about fajitas, as I said to you earlier on, is that kind of shared experience. And I love all the bits and pieces that go with it. So I'm going to show you a couple of bits and pieces, nice relishes, nice condiments that would go with this today. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lovely citrus creme fraiche. So here what I'm using, I'm using some of the Irish yogurts, Clana Kilty, and I'm using the half fat citrus creme fraiche because I want to keep this dish nice and healthy. So I'm going to just put some of that in my little bowl there. To that, I'm going to add in some lime zest and a little bit of lime juice. So I've just got my zester, and I'm just going to put in a little bit of lime zest. So this will make this really, really refreshing and really, really kind of a nice sharp kick to it. I'm going to put some lovely coriander. Coriander is the marmite of herbs. You either like it or you don't. Um, but I just like it. It has that gorgeous, nice, fresh, citrusy undertones. And just chop the coriander exactly the second you need it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little bit of lime juice in there as well. Give that a good old mix around. And that can be used for lots of things, Aidan. Think of your tortilla crisps on a Friday night. Think of your baked potato maybe with a savoury mince. Um, think of even having it with some raw vegetables or crudités as well. Mm. And I'm literally just going to pop that lovely creme fraiche right there into my little serving bowl. Because as I said, I'm going to serve all of this up together. Back here, you can see my uh, dish is coming along really nicely here, the beef. So I'm happy enough with that. That'll be ready for us, Aidan. And then I'm going to make the guacamole for you. Lovely. The guacamole I'm going to make for you as well. So here what I've got is I've got an avocado. So I've just halved it. Now, again, just before the camera came in, I cut it because you never know the middle of an avocado until you meet it. So I just checked it to make sure that we were all right. I'm just going to pop out the stone out of that, Aidan. And I'm literally just going to spoon that in. And I just have it into a little plastic container here just to give you a little look at it as it's blending down. So pop all of that in there. 
To that, I'm going to add in another bit of coriander, or you could put in a bit of parsley uh, in there as well. And I've got a little bit more of the red chili. So pop all of that in. And then using my immersion stick blender, I'm just going to give that a little pulse around. Okay, so give that a little pulse around there, just like so. Now, I don't want to have it too smooth because I'm going to add actually a bit of textural interest into it in just a second. So just pulse it there for a second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, sorry about that, uh, I'm going to take that avocado, sorry, go ahead, Aidan. No, no, I, I was an interruption. I'm, I'm enthralled by uh, watching your proceedings here. So you're going to add some texture. Have we got some onions and tomatoes? I've got to add some texture there. So what I've got here is I'm just going to give that another little mash. And what I've got is I've got another little bit of my creme fraiche. So I'm going to use another little bit of that creme fraiche. You could use creme fraiche, you could use may mayonnaise, or you could use a little bit of yogurt. Chop that in. You see, I'm just giving it a nice, good chop to get that lovely texture uh, in there. And then here I've got some de-seeded um, tomatoes, a little bit of diced tomato concasse. I've got a little bit of red onion and I'm going to give that a gorgeous little mix around. And that is just the most fabulous, fabulous little relish uh, to go with that. So I'm going to just pop some of that uh, out in my service dish as well. And again, this is something now tonight you can think I'll be sitting down at the fire with a bit of this guacamole and some raw carrots tonight, and that will be absolutely fab. So just to conclude the dish then, Aidan, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of this bit of mess here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to finish the beef. The beef is very simply finished, and it's finished just when you need it. I've got a little bit of ground cumin here, and I've got some homemade sweet chilli sauce. I'm literally just going to put in a spoon or two of that, give that a mix around, and once the chilli sauce goes in, you're ready to serve up, because that will caramelise that beef gorgeous for you. I'm going to serve that out. Wouldn't you love to be down in Great Manor this morning, Aidan? That goes without saying, Edward. That is truly delicious. Look, and I like how you're serving it as well. The presentation is beautiful. It's uh, somewhat deconstructed, would you say? It's somewhat deconstructed, and as I said, you know, all of that shared dining is lovely for people just to build their own. And just before you came over oh, to me, um, about 35 minutes before, I've just put some lovely potato wedges there into the oven. And if you can just see, I've got some of the lovely um, Cajun potato wedges there. And with that, I'm just going to put a small few little baby leaves uh, throughout there. I've got some coriander, I've got some pea shoots, some leek shoots, and I've got some lime wedges there as well. And actually, would you believe me, there's a few edible flowers in here as well. So a few little violas uh, in there as well. But that's a gorgeous dish. As I said, it's bring it to the middle of the table and it should be lovely. Or for those that are at home, it should be that perfect date night experience uh, as well, Aidan. That would that's your homework impress. though, Aidan. You will try it out. Oh, yes, I made, I made all my notes. Don't zoom in on that. There's nothing on it because all the recipe <laughs> details, we, of course, know we can find up on our website as ever. Now, Edward, thank you so much for being with us this morning. That was truly brilliant. Thank you. You're very welcome, Aidan. Slán agus